1951. Perhaps the most important thing was the Treaty of San Francisco was officially uh, signed, which brought an end in the most formal way to the war between Japan and the United States. But interestingly enough, uh, it was a moment of great uh, scientific development. So things like power steering, uh, super glue were invented. But for me personally, the nicest thing is all over the world on this day, November 22, um, my birthday, people were celebrating this, the birthday of St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music, when my daughter was born, Johann Sebastian Bach. I really do not like to do nothing. I crave absolute silence. Um, I've always dreamed of becoming a diplomat. When I was a student, in fact, I was academically preparing myself, possibly to going into the legal profession with the idea of, of international relations. Um, there was a feeling in the air that the world was becoming smaller and conflicts would increase. Uh, and we see in the 21st century that, at least partially, this has been absolutely true. I'm reading two of them at the moment. One is Educated by Tara Westover, and the other is a collection of essays about the Beethoven Miso Solemnis by Walter, Hinrichsen, and Koch. My family. To believe in something. It's a very difficult question, but I'd have to say Ludwig van Beethoven. Whatever is fresh on the market. Just luck. There is no one magic formula for success, but for everyone who's successful, whom I've met, they give 120%. Well, this is an easy one. Uh, it arrived on the internet. Uh, that my wife and I were recently divorced and uh, we were both uh, very alarmed and very, very sad uh, because we were on our way to celebrating our 30th anniversary in the most joyous and, <laughs> and most uh, richest moment and we were uh, really taken aback, uh, surprised in the most negative way. Uh, it took almost a year to have that corrected. My marriage day. It's a different kind of a question, a very difficult one to answer, but the one that I never tire of listening is the Bush Quartet's reading of the Beethoven Quartets. Of course. I have a brother and two sisters, and you could say that we are each other's best friends. Classical music is, as always, standing on a brilliant future. It's one of the things that we can believe in as a constant companion, to have trust that it will always be there. Classical music is music that somehow, through a consensus, it's been agreed that it's art of an exceptional level that's not tied to time, it's above time, which is to say that it's free from fashion, it's free from mode, it's free from cycles. And if you think about it, the great repertoire that we have is there for all of the changes and all of the stages of our life's development. It's there to be counted upon as a companion in good times and bad. Therefore, the future of classical music is very, very secure and poised to really play an ever-increasing role in the 21st century.